Today is the final day for the public to see the Queen of Soul one last time. And as Detroit and the rest of the world says goodbye to the music legend, one local church is working overtime to make sure that her funeral goes off without any issues. But today the focus is on the church that Aretha grew up in. Local force Nick Monticelli joining us live now at New Bethel Baptist Church here in Detroit where that final viewing is taking place. Nick. Everett, good morning to you. So the purpose of the viewing today at New Bethel Baptist Church is to give those in this community, the congregation of New Bethel, an opportunity to pay their final respects. And things are moving along uh, quite quickly here. We uh, we got here at about 3.45 this morning, and there wasn't much of a line, but now people are starting to show up here in front of the church, realizing that this is their last opportunity. This is the last public visitation. And now the workers from the Detroit Public Works Department, they are out here as well, putting up these barricades because they recognize that the line here is going to be quite lengthy as well. In the meantime, though, there are still many more people over Greater Grace Church getting ready for what's going to be a funeral, but also a massive celebration. One, two, three, and Behind the scenes to make tomorrow's service memorable and meaningful means an army of people are at Greater Grace working out every detail. Everybody will have their assignment. That's the ushers are being trained for what will likely be more than 4,000 people in attendance and a list of dignitaries and celebrities is growing by the hour. President Bill Clinton, LeBron James, Oprah Winfrey, Isaiah Thomas, Stevie Wonder, just to name a few. I want people to come into this building, into this sanctuary, and to feel the presence of God. If they feel the presence of God, they're going to feel her presence. Bishop Charles Ellis III and his congregation have been in this position before. There'll be a lot of people who will be coming, you know, to see a show. And I feel it's my job as the officiant to keep the integrity of this program or order of service and to make sure that in the midst of all the glamour and all the named individuals and famed individuals that will be here and grace this house, make sure that everybody understands those are four sons that will never have a mother. But music will be the heart and soul of this service, woven into all six and a half hours that are planned. But when it comes to music, nothing crosses denominational lines, ethnicities, uh, genders like music. All right, so now here out live again outside of New Bethel Baptist Church. Four people in line currently right now. But as we come back over here again, the barricades are going up because they do expect quite a lengthy line. However, the visitation only goes from noon until 4 o'clock today, Avron Ronda, because there is that tribute concert also going on. That starts around 6 o'clock tonight at Shane Park. We're right. live here on the west side. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Nick, thank you. We're going to be hearing from more people sharing their memories of Aretha Franklin tonight at 8 o'clock. You'll also be able to see parts of tonight's tribute concert at Shane Park when you join us for our primetime special honoring the Queen of Soul. Respect seen here on Local 4. Again, that's tonight at 8 o'clock. And then we also hope that you'll join us tomorrow for Aretha Franklin's funeral a celebration of life. Our live coverage of that begins at 9 Friday morning, and you can watch that as well live here on the air. You can also stream it on clickondetroit.com and watch it as well on the Local 4 Facebook page.